This week we'll be going over the three DLC missions in I Expect You to Die. These are going to get us the last two achievements that we need in the game to 100% it. And if you didn't see the first video, it's going to be linked down in the description as well as up in the cards. And so now, let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off, we'll go over the five souvenirs on the mission First Class, which will get us the achievement Mission Accomplished for completing all of the missions. This isn't actually all the missions, but this is the point that it's going to give you that achievement. First, we have Finally Useful for shoving a bundle of cash through the door when the assassin arrives as a bribe. You'll just grab some money from the compartment on the back wall and shove it through the door after you finish the tape recorder part. The second one is Boom Plane for taking out the plane with a flashbang. You'll get flashbangs behind the secret compartment behind the hat hook, and then you'll hold the flashbang outside as far as it'll go where the lines of the mountains meet. Press the button to make the flashbang float out there as soon as the plane gets close to that line. The third is Cloche Call for using the food platter lid to shield yourself from the assassin's bullet. You're gonna have to angle it correctly on the first or second shot so that it goes back and hits the assassin. The fourth is tea time for calling room service directly after taking down the plane. Once you take down the plane, just start spamming the room service button on the phone. And then we have the speed run for the level in under 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Starting out, you'll immediately pick up the phone with your left hand and start spamming the room service button on the phone. With your right hand, you'll put in all three of the codes on the back wall. If you aren't sure of the codes, just pause the video to take a look at each one that I'm putting in. And by the time you get the last code in, room service should have also sent you the first package. You'll open the compartment on your left, stick the lighter in it, and swap it to the number 5 to send it through. Then start grabbing the flashbangs and setting them on the table, and pick up the card from the compartment directly across from you. As soon as the canister opens up, take the item out and send the card back through. At this point, you can get the drawer open and ready, so once the tape device comes in, you can pick it up, put in the code 211, and eject the tape to stick it in the drawer. Then immediately get a flashbang and toss it through the opening in the door to get rid of the first assassin. Then get another flashbang and toss it up on the roof. You'll extend it up to the roof and then press the button to hold it in place so that it will scare off that assassin. Now at this point we're waiting for the tank to drive over to us and shoot. Once it stops shooting, they're going to throw a grenade, which you'll catch, and throw it back into the tank. Then get the last flashbang ready to take out the plane. You'll arm it, and then hold it as far out as you can at the line of the mountain outside. As soon as the plane gets close to that line, press the button to hold the grenade there. Then once the plane comes back around, it'll be smoking and you can wait for the end of the mission. Then moving on to the mission Seat of Power, we have another six souvenirs to get. The first is Smokey the Bull for placing a cigar in the bull's mouth and lighting it. You'll have them in the left arm of your chair. 
The second one is it's what plants crave for breaking open the plant from the glass case and pouring champagne on it. The third is all falling into place for grabbing the pieces of the Z engraving on your left and dropping them into place. You need at least four of the pieces to fall into place when you drop them. Not that I worry about the fourth is got the intel for picking the lock beneath the Z engraving. You'll grab the hilt of the sword and the bull and stick it in the pedestal to unlock it. Using the x-ray goggles will make it a little bit easier, but you can also just do it without them. Then the fifth is to be or not to be for plugging the hole in the elevator with the champagne cork to stop the bees from coming through. This will happen after you seal the blast doors and find the intel. Just wait for the beekeeper to drill a hole and put the cork in. And now we can do the speed run for the level in under 50 seconds. So starting out, you'll quickly grab the hilt of the sword from the bull statue and stick it into the pedestal in front of you to unlock it. Just imagine it was a clock and turn the handle clockwise to about 8.30, release, then go to 10 and release, then go to 2 and release, and then turn back counterclockwise to go to 7 and release. It should click at each of those numbers and then should unlock. You can then turn the wheel to 12, hit the button, and grab the disc to stick in the right arm of your chair. That's the intel we need. Once the panel comes down, you'll flip the second and fourth knobs up, pull the guard down, and then hit the button. At this point, you'll just wait to blast off, and you're good. Then we can move on to the very last level, Death Engine. Which after getting all of the souvenirs on this, it'll get us all the things for earning all of the souvenirs in I Expect You to Die. Of course, there are six souvenirs for this map as well. The first is It's All You Meat, for using the meat canister in the food compartment as a second fuse. The second one is Orange Picking, for spraying orange juice on the locked container to break the lock. The third is Stop and Go Potty for ejecting the meat canister, cigar, juice, and crystal out through the toilet in the shuttle. The fourth is Oxygen is for the weak, for not sealing the oxygen leak with a cigar and instead just rushing to grab the oxygen helmet from the airlock before you suffocate. The fifth is Thanks for the assist for catching the crate of radioactive waste that gets thrown to you and putting it into the death engine. And then we finally have the speedrun for this in under 1 minute and 45 seconds. Starting out, you'll want to grab the cigar with your left hand and hold it near the spot where there will be a leak. Then open up the food compartment and make the juice float by the airlock and the meat canister float next to the fuse panel. Then while still holding the cigar in your left hand and pushing it to where the hole will come up, look at the panel to your right. As soon as the light turns green, open it and take the drill out to open up the fuse panel. You should be able to pull it off and start pulling out the broken fuses all while the screen is red from the death engine shot. You'll then want to put the fuses in slot 2 and 4 and then turn the power back on. Hit the top airlock button and then on the panel up here pull the lever down, hit the red button, hit the green button, flip the lever up, hit the red button, flip the lever down, wait for the crate to get close to the door and then flip the lever back up. Then hit the bottom airlock button again, then the top one, and quickly grab the helmet from the airlock and put it on. Then take the juice and squirt it onto the lock of the crate to break it, grab the arm from inside and put it into the socket of the control panel. Then flip the power off and move the second fuse down to the third slot, pull the panel down on your left so that you can take out the crystal and put it in the toilet. Flip the power back on, eject the crystal, and then grab the arm to pull the panel off of the death engine. And once it's far enough out, grab the crystal with the arm and throw it into the engine to destroy it. And with that, we now have 100% of the achievements in the game, I Expect You to Die. It also gets us ready to go for when the second one releases later this year. We also have the community discord open, which you should all join and come chat about achievement hunting or just hang out with some people in the community. And of course, we have YouTube memberships now, so if you want to support the channel further, 
get access to custom emotes to use in the comments, and have your name featured in a credit section at the end of the videos, go ahead and join that now. And as always, if you liked the video or found it helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below with what games you'd like me to cover next.